Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well. Today I want to show a few five styling tips to dress better. And I want to be quite specific with these tips and move beyond the basics, such as wearing high-waisted trousers, tucking your top in, because I feel like we've probably heard a lot of those before and there's a good chance that we do them already. So today I want to show a few some of the tips that I've recently been loving myself or things that I've recently discovered that I want to share with you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and you have some style questions, please let me know as I would actually love to do more regular installments of videos like this where I can basically just talk to you about some of my favourite style tips that I've discovered and it's a chance for me to talk about some things that maybe don't fit into other videos. Let me know your thoughts down below but let's go on to style tip number one which is that re-wearing our clothes actually makes us so much more stylish. This is a tip that I feel is almost a little bit underrated on YouTube, but it's kind of a no-brainer as well. When we add a new piece to our wardrobe, I find that it takes me a few tries and it takes some time for me to realize what it looks best with in my wardrobe. So the first couple of outfits I create with this new piece is usually not the best outfit I've created with that item. And as I wear it more and more, the outfits tend to get better. Case in point, I want to talk about this Lee Matthews skirt. And this is a skirt I found on sale a while ago. It is a beautiful skirt and it is very much my style. The first few times I wore it with a long sleeve white t-shirt and also wore it with some bright pink sandals. And I like the outfit, I featured it in one of my videos so I did like it. As I'm wearing the skirt a little bit more though, I realised I prefer to style it with slightly more casual items for a more laid back and less feminine look. The skirt itself is quite voluminous and girly and I just enjoy pairing it with things like a linen t-shirt, something that's a bit more casual to balance things out. And then from the space outfit, I also realized I love styling with brown accessories and I think it looks really nice together. I think mixing neutrals like black, white, brown, navy is quite fun. So I really like the combo in this outfit. And the brown does wonders when it comes to dressing this outfit down and making it feel a little bit more casual. I feel like this outfit is definitely a little bit more of an improvement from how I originally wore this skirt and it's just a little bit more my style because I've had some time to play around and experiment with the skirt. I think the reason why re-wearing our clothes makes us more stylish is that as we play around with a piece more and more, we really get a feel for how we like to style this piece and how we can make it really align with our personal style. I think this is something that is a given, but I don't think I've heard it talked about as much as I would have imagined. So that would be my tip number one. Before we move on to tip number two, I wanna show you one more outfit styling this white skirt. I think this outfit is a little bit more playful and I think that reflects my style more. There's still lots of feminine touches with the ruffles, the polka dots, but it just feels a bit more young, a bit more fun, and I like this combination a lot more. Styling-wise, I would also wear it with my little APC bag, and because the skirt is quite voluminous and the APC bag is a mini, I think that it balances out the proportions quite nicely as well. This is my second look styling the skirt, and because it is still a newer piece in my wardrobe, I feel like these looks will get better and better as I wear the skirt more. In my second tip, I want to talk about a very simple formula to build chic outfits. And that is just simply starting with your statement piece and building out from there. I think what this does is that it creates interest because you've always got that one statement piece or focal point. And secondly, it just is a very easy formula to follow and I think it always works. I want to start with this piece which is a very cute short sleeve cardigan. It's got balloon sleeves which is quite playful and it's also got these little pom-pom details almost around the neckline in a chevron kind of design. So it's front and back and I just want to show you how I would style it with these Uniqlo linen trousers. When I was looking at this piece, I knew immediately that I needed to style it with something a little bit more fitted on the bottom half. So I didn't want to go for anything ultra wide and these linen trousers, even though they're not tight, they have a slimmer shape which I thought just worked nicely to balance out the more puffy kind of sleeves on the sweater. From there, I also thought the colours were quite complementary. Um, there's a range of colours on this neckline and there's a few cool tones but you've also got this beautiful rust colour which matches nicely with the pants. It's very subtle, it's kind of combined with some other colours but it does have a little bit of that warmer rust and it does match with the trousers because of that quite well. In one of my how to wear colour videos I talked all about Anagla's colours which, which are colours next to each other on the colour wheel and I feel like the rust, the pink as well as these pinky tan 
trousers all kind of fit together in that anaglas color scheme. I think this bag tones down the outfit a little bit instead of competing with everything else that is going on in this look. Using the exact formula as before, I wanted to show you one more way to style the statement piece and this time I've gone with navy trousers. On the print, there is also a little bit of navy and I've just tied it in with the trouser option. The shape of these I think are a little bit more wide than the earlier pair but I think it works because there is such a beautiful drape to these trousers that really contrast the more boxy knitted material of the top. The navy trousers for me are a little bit more of a neutral compared to these pinky tan coloured options I picked out earlier and because of that I've added back a little bit of colour in the bag. So I'm using the Chloe test bag in this purple colour and once again we've really got an anaglas colour palette going on with the purple, the navy and the pinky magenta colours as well. In tip number two, I really want to show that starting with a statement piece can create really stylish outfits that also feel balanced. Beyond that, I also think it's very helpful to have a few style formulas up your sleeve because it just makes styling into a little bit of a science and makes it a little bit more easy and accessible for us all to look more stylish. My third tip when it comes to how to dress better is to have signature go-to pieces that you can reach for in the morning when you are not feeling inspired. I think this is a great thing to do to foolproof your style. One of my definite go-to pieces is the slip dress and I wear this a lot. I wear this daytime, nighttime. You know, I, I can manage to get away with this at work because I layer inside, I put a blazer on the outside, and I just find a thousand and one ways to wear this particular dress. So today I'm just going to show you two more outfit ideas, styling the slip dress for a little bit of inspo. So this is my first look, styling the slip dress, and I'm just going to take off the trench coat to show you the full look. In this outfit, I'm wearing the slip dress as a skirt. And this is actually the reason why I don't own any slip skirts, just because I feel like all my dresses can very easily be transformed into a slip skirt. This outfit works with any crop cardigan because a black silk skirt matches with any colour. I can basically take any crop cardigan I own and style it like this. I can also belt um, my oversized cardigans to create a similar look as well. Because this combination works with so many different sweaters, Immediately right here, I have so many go-to looks I can turn to um, in my wardrobe. Basically, as many looks as I have knits, if that makes sense. And then obviously on top of this look, you can pair it with different jackets. One of the most classic options to go for is a trench coat. But you can also go for blazers, you can go for maybe a black coat, depending on the season and the weather. And I think it makes for a very chic kind of outfit ID. So now I'm going to show you the second outfit I'm creating with the slip dress. In this next outfit, I'm really playing with the trans-seasonal ID of the slip dress. Because Australia doesn't have very cold winters and the climate's pretty mild then, I feel like the slip dress is definitely a trans-seasonal piece that I can wear all year round. And definitely throughout the autumn winter just by doing a little bit of layering. I have a long sleeve knit from Muji on the inside. I have the slip dress over the top. And then I put on another little cardigan from End of the Stories as the last layer. I've also put on this necklace because I think that the rose gold really kind of contrasts with the blue nicely. Even though I do this combination all the time, I am always surprised by how different it looks just by doing this exact combination with slightly different pieces. I've worn the slip dress by itself with the blue knit and I'm just amazed that by layering the black knit inside, putting on this necklace, it really makes this outfit feel like a whole new outfit and I really like how the combination turned out. Sometimes in the mornings, I definitely need a little bit of help getting ready and having a go-to piece such as a slip dress just makes life a lot easier because I just know that I love all the outfit combos I can create with the slip dress and it's a little bit of a foolproof piece in my wardrobe. I definitely recommend having a few go-to pieces. It obviously doesn't have to be the slip dress, something that works with you and your style but I think it does simplify life a lot in the mornings when you're feeling uninspired. I've moved in a little bit closer because in tip number four, I want to talk all about necklaces. This is kind of like a strange topic to deep dive into, but I guess I've just recently discovered a few things that really intrigued me and I thought I would share them with you. In my last video about spring trends, one of the things I realized is that longer necklaces are kind of back in trend, back in style, and it got me thinking about why I always love these necklaces on other people and why they don't quite work on me. So the reason I've discovered is that longer necklaces have a tendency to elongate the neck 
and they also elongate this torso area which can be great for a lot of different body shapes. On my particular body shape though, as someone who is quite petite and probably has a little bit of a longer torso in proportion, I'm always trying to bring up the waistline to make my legs look longer and my torso shorter, which is why the longer necklaces don't really work for me. So instead, it explains why I'm always going for a slightly shorter necklace. I think it looks a lot more balanced on my frame and it also doesn't have as elongating an effect as the longer necklaces do. And one more thing to keep in mind is that like chokers or chunkier, bolder necklaces can also shorten the neck a little bit. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're deciding which necklace best suits your shape. I think this is almost a bit of a fun fact rather than like a rule um, because I think it is far more important to just wear jewelry pieces that you love and maybe have a little bit of sentimental value to you as well. I think if you do have a hard time picking out jewelry and you want to look for some signature pieces, this could be something to keep in mind as I personally found it very interesting. Other than this beautiful chunky rose gold chain, I also wanted to show you some more dainty necklaces that I think suit my frame quite well. So this necklace I have here is from Fedoma and I'm going to show you properly in some cutaways because it's a bit hard to show on camera. But this has always been one of the necklaces I thought was most flattering on me. The chain is very delicate but it's also got a really interesting design to it which you'll see in the cutaway. And it's got an oval pendant. I don't know if this is just a coincidence but I've always thought this was one of the most flattering chains on me. And I've also read somewhere that if you have an oval face shape, an oval pendant is like the perfect shape to wear. And one of my favorites is this particular chain. This is the box chain from the jewelry, and I often just kind of keep it on. I haven't lately, I've just been lazy. But I often do just keep it on. And I pop the Monica Vinader pearl through it. And a pearl charm with a dainty chain has always been one of my favorite combinations. And I think that the pearl does a really good job of brightening the face. It's just a beautiful, beautiful item. I also really love the length of it. I think it's not too long, not too short. And it's just a very beautiful, elegant look. On to my last and final tip, and that is all about playing with different textures. This is something that I've already touched on in this video. I think it is such a key part of looking stylish and dressing better. We are going to play around with this very dramatic tweed jacket. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you are probably sick of this because I've shown it a lot recently. I found this secondhand on Vestiaire. I've been loving Vestiaire lately. I think they don't necessarily have the best prices, but I think that they also have really great finds in knee perfect condition. So I found this on Vestiaire and I want to show you some ways that I style it while playing around this beautiful tweed and denim texture. This is playing around texture in the most dramatic sense, but obviously materials like linen obviously has that very unique texture. Corduroy has unique texture, silk is a specific texture, and I think it's really fun to play around with these and often like contrast them for a really beautiful look. I've just popped on the tweed jacket over my existing outfit and I'm in love with all the textures going on. We've got a bit of a ribbed knit on the inside, we've got silk over it, we've got tweed, we've got denim, we've got pearl detail, we've got some metal, and so many beautiful textures I think just create a really interesting look. This jacket is super loud and I feel like it's definitely like a love it or hate it kind of thing. Um, you don't have to opt for something like this jacket, but it's just an example of how different textures can work nicely together. So I'm just going to quickly show you maybe a less dramatic jacket to see how this can apply as well. If we just kind of pretend this jacket is in a little bit more of a subtle colour, this jacket has a more structured, thick material. And in comparison, the silk is very flowy, very soft. And even these two subtle differences in texture, I think create a little bit more of an interesting look. I think this is really simple and we all do it whether we're aware of it or not. But it's just something to keep in mind that all these different textures together can look super chic. This is the Willa jacket from Cezanne and the other day I saw that they started doing the Willa in white. And if you guys don't know, the Willa jacket is basically the shorter, more petite friendly version of the wheel jacket, which is longer and a little bit too oversized for my liking, whereas this is kind of like the perfect fit. I've popped on the toy jacket again, and I think that if you want to add a little bit more luxury into your outfit, texture is a really good way to do that. Anything that is a unique texture, such as tweed, corduroy, silk, 
or something that is silk-like and drapes really well just adds a bit more luxury and makes outfits look a lot more expensive. This is just something else, I think, to elevate your style and help put outfits together that look more stylish. So my last tip is just that paying attention to textures can make for a much better outfit. I also want to quickly show you a few photos of this tweed jacket style with some corduroy trousers because I actually really loved how these two very dramatic textures look paired together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'd love to know what you guys think of this video and whether you're interested in seeing regular installments where I share with you my favorite style tips, the style tips that I've been using, and also just kind of chat about some topics that you guys asked me about. So things that don't quite fit into another video, I'd love to be able to share them in these how to dress better kind of videos. A lot of what I do here is based on feedback that I get, so I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!